Welcome back to Electric Drive Africa. Today we have a special episode covering President of Kenya, William Ruto, inaugurating Rome Park, East Africa's largest electric motorcycle assembly plant. We're delighted to host you at the launch of our 10,000 square meter facility, the Rome Park. This is a culmination of billions of shillings and six years of effort into research, design, and technology development of products that are world-class and specifically built for the Kenyan and the African market. Our motorcycles that you see here are robust, they are affordable, they have zero emissions, and they're fully assembled from the ground up at this facility. Ultimately, Your Excellency, this is a motorcycle that's been specifically designed and made to be relevant for Boda Boda and other commercial users who are the backbone of the transportation sector in this country. The green transition is a major opportunity for the Kenyan economy. Approximately nine trillion US dollars are required in capital on an annual basis for physical assets and energy in order to get to a net zero between now and 2050. In Kenya, that means we need to increase our investment in green technology and climate technology by 10% of the GDP on an annual basis. This is a unique opportunity for us, given more than 90% of our electricity, of our energy, is already green energy. This is a unique opportunity for our country to take the lead in global climate transition in the mobility sector. Doing this and using this not only increases livelihoods of our customers, of our consumers, but there is a significant multiplier effect to industry, to creating jobs in, in this country. Your Excellency, the Rome Air is made right here in Kenya behind me. From our software solutions to our product design team, from our charging infrastructure to our electric borders and buses, we strive to bring as much of the value chain as we can to Kenya. We choose to do this because it brings the most relevant product for this market, for our consumers, at the lowest cost, whilst creating jobs in our economy. Katika makadirio ya mapato, pesa karibu shilingi bilioni moja inapatikana kila siku kutokana na biashara ya boda boda kumaanisha inafikia familia nyingi kupata chakula kusomesha watoto wao na kufanya kazi zingine ambazo zinatusaidia kama taifa na kwa sababu hiyo ndio tumeweka mpango maalum ya mambo ya boda boda na sio boda boda peke yake e mobility magari pikipiki eh, mabas pia ambayo itakuwa inatumia stima na tumeweka mpango kamili kukabiliana na mambo karibu manne matano ya kwanza kuhakikisha ya kwamba biashara hii ya boda boda inafanyika katika eh, environment ambayo inaheshimika kama biashara zile zingine zote. Nashukuru kwa mfano governor wa Nairobi wakati alichukua usukani kulikuwa na boda boda karibu 1300 zilikuwa zimefungiwa pale akaziondoa zote akasema kila mtu aende nyumbani na boda boda yake. Tunataka ijulikane ya kwamba hii ni biashara kama biashara zingine. Na ndio sababu tumeweka mpango maalum katika budget yetu ili kusaidia mpango huu wa boda boda. Nia yangu na nia ya serikali ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kati ya shilingi bilioni moja inapatikana kila siku tunataka pesa zingine ziongezeke karibu milioni 400 kila siku iende kwa mfuko ya boda boda ondoa ushuru kama sehemu tano 
ili kusaidia sekta hiyo kukua. Ya kwanza tumesema VAT kwa boda boda ambayo inatumia stima tutaondoa 16% VAT ile iko juu yake. Kumaanisha ile bei ya sasa itarudi chini by 16%. Ya pili tumesema spare parts zote ambazo zitakuja kutumika kutengeneza boda boda pia tunaondoa ushuru ya VAT ya tatu kwa sababu ile kitu ya muhimu sana kwa hii pikipiki ni betri tumesema vile vile ile parts yote ambayo inatumika kutengeneza betri na hata betri yenyewe pia tunaondoa ushuru <laughs> ndio ukitaka kutengeneza hiyo betri Kenya iko bei ya chini ndio ukiagiza kutoka nje iko bei chini ya, ta, ya ine tuko na equipment ya charging tuko na charger tuko na pale equipment ya kununua pale charging station mumesikia eh, management ya hapa mumesikia sakaja akisema ya kwamba pale tutatengeneza charging stations ziwe nyingi ndio unaweza kucharge pikipiki yako ama gari yako different places hiyo equipment yote ya charging stations pia tumeondoa ushuru Vile 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 mumesikia imesemekana kutakuwa na charging stations ile stima ambayo mita ya kucharge boda boda gari bus hiyo stima yote tumekubaliana na watu wa eh, huyu mungwana ndiye anasimamia mambo ya epra tumekubaliana na huyu mjamaa tuwe na bei ya chini ya hawa watu kucharge pikipiki zao na magari zao <laughs> na ndio nimewaleta hapa kila mtu ajue kazi yake na afuate line yake <laughs> si ndio kwa sababu tukifanya hiyo kazi yote na tayari tumeweka katika finance bill ile tunangojea itoke kotini tuwezi kuendelea kuwa ni inchi ya kuagiza vitu ambazo zinaweza kutengenezwa na vijana wetu hapa Kenya. Sasa hizi tunaagiza simiti. Na simiti inaweza kutengenezwa Kenya. Tunaagiza steel. Na steel tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya. Ndiyo nimesema hizo vitu zote ikiwemo hii pikipiki. Hii pikipiki tumekubaliana number one, kuna parts 14 kwa hii pikipiki. Tayari tumesema hizo haziwezi kuagizwa tena itakuwa inatengenezwa Kenya. Tukisonga songa ikifika mwaka ujao Tunataka tena kuongeza zile parts kwa hii pikipiki. Kutoka 14 parts mpaka 30 parts ambazo zitakuwa zinatengenezwa Kenya. <laughs> Ndio tupate watu wengi kama Lilian ambaye alitoka university kuna eh, mrembo mwingine nilikutana naye hapo alitoka Tivet. Eh, alitoka Tivet saa hizi anafanya kazi hapa hawa vijana wengi ambao wanatoka Tibet kila mwaka njia ya kupanga ajira yao ni kuacha kuagiza vitu zinatoka nje zile zinaweza kutengeneza na vijana wetu hapa Kenya <laughs> nyinyi mnataka tuendelee kuagiza vitu ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya jamani si ndio na unajua matatizo ambayo tumekuwa naye ni kwamba 
sisi kama viongozi hatutaki kuamua ile mambo iko ngumu kwa sababu tunataka tu kupigiwa makofi kila wakati sasa ukipigiwa makofi na watu hawana kazi itakusaidia nini Sieri upange kasi ya hawa watu ndio wakikupigia makofi at least wako na kitu kwa tumbo ama nini Sio kama tunaelewana So tumekubaliana ya kwamba ajira lazima tupange Kenya Na ndio nimeweka katika mpango yetu tupate ajira from manufacturing Manufacturing kati yao ni ku manufacture easy parts ile pikipiki milioni moja na laki nane, 1.8 million pikipiki ambazo tuko nayo Kenya in the next three to five years tunataka tusibadilishe zote iwe ya ya kutumia steam na tutahitaji tuta, tuta, kupitia kwa hiyo mpango peke yake tutapata ajira ya vijana zaidi ya elfu mia moja. bao watafanya kazi kama vile wale wanafanya kazi hapa leo bado tuko na shida pale kwa vile ya kupata hii pikipiki na kulipa watu wengi wanalipa karibu mara mbili bei ya pikipiki pikipiki ya shilingi 1150 unaenda unalipa mpaka inafika 300000 si kweli sasa hapo ndio tunataka tujipange na mimi nataka niwaambie nimeshawaambia wizara and the peers is here wa industry huyu eh, anaitwa Mohana nishamwambia hawa jamaa wapange mimi nataka serikali iweze kuingilia kati ndio tupunguze gharama ya mambo ya financing ya kununua boda boda na zile eh, magari zingine so that we can make it easier and and better for citizens to own this equipment tunaelewana hiyo ndio mpango yetu na nimesema vile nilisema kule embu tarehe moja, mwezi wa tisa, ambaye imebaki sasa karibu siku sijui ngapi tutatangaza vizuri mpango yetu ya vile tutasaidiana na watu ya sekta ya boda boda na hata immobility in general really, truly happy to see what is going on in this facility and it is because we believe as a nation that with different types of intervention especially around tax we can make things a lot better the reason why this sector has has been having challenges is because we've been having the wrong policy interventions around tax and that is why you have heard me internationally talk about we need to change the financial architecture that we currently have that is not supportive of enterprises that lift the majority of people out of poverty and build the capacity of more businesses to be able to be able to drive our progress our prosperity our development and our economy there is a solid case for a relook on our global financing in, uh, architecture even as we look at our domestic uh, financial architecture you can see that just by intervening in a very small way we are able to bring down the cost of our e mobility infrastructure by between 16 and 20% just by adjusting taxes here and there it is the same reason why we are saying we need a tax infrastructure globally that is going to respond to climate change financing that we are all looking at and that is why i really want to encourage the management of rome that you have our support before without you talking to us we have taken the steps that we have taken we are ready we are willing to discuss with you even further 
additional interventions that the government can do to make it easier for you to produce. We have policy interventions in our finance bill, specifically targeting e-mobility, our border border people, specifically because they contribute almost a billion shillings to our economy every day. And the policy interventions that we have put in the finance bill, from zero rating all e-bikes, zero rating all our VAT on uh, 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 motor vehicle spare parts, removing taxes on charging equipment, removing our taxes on uh, uh, battery and lithium and the whole manufacturing of um, uh, gadgets and instruments and facilities that will be used for e-mobility and making sure that we have a dedicated tariff, energy tariff, to support the whole industry is part of the interventions we are putting in the finance bill to support this sector and to inject between 400 and 500 million shillings every day in the pockets of the people in the border border sector. So it is very important that we all work together. Uh, I want this to confirm, time. Your Excellency, that as we work on the energy sector, we want to work with the mobility sector so that the target, the true target of reaching 100 percent uh, carbon neutral for Kenya is achieved not only on power generation but also on the mobility. So we will work with the industry. I want to confirm, Your Excellency, that we've done our math and. If we do roll out 30%, we are working on 30% accelerated border border by 2025, which will give us up to 500,000 motorbikes on the road. 500,000 motorbikes on the road, which will be about 30% of the motorbikes on the road today, will require an additional 500 megawatts power generation, which we need to start today so that that power is available to support uh, the border border uh, riders at that percent cost, which is 30 percent of what you pay today. Uh, Your Excellency, as we go to the Climate Summit, Africa Climate Summit September, I'm consulting with State House so that we'll have a, charge, a charging point at the State House, not only for the... <laughs> and we are working on that, Your Excellency. It will be there. In fact, uh, if we were a bit fast, we should be riding on an electric vehicle on that particular day. Your the Excellency, last four months, this industry has employed 4,000 people. You know, that is what we had at the briefing. Yet to produce by exchange sana kuna potential hapa. Our biggest problem today in Nairobi and in the, in the country, ni vijana mbo haona kazi. It is millions of disengaged, disillusioned young people who are educated. Umesikia story ya the ones who are working here. A degree in supply chain management, yule mschana ambaye wanafanya batteries, she knows what to do but the opportunities have not been there. These opportunities for young people will not create themselves. Last my pangwe, it must be worked on. And this is one of the ways that we're doing it. So we really support your excellency for taking the lead um, in, 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 in creating employment for our young people and we will do our part um, as a county. Finally, your excellency, ile um, ningeomba, kwa sababu najua kuna pali umetushikilia kwa aggregation and industrial parks kama county. Nafikiri tukaleta hao manufacturers wa hizi pia kwa special economic zone. Such that they can benefit more to neza serve East Africa yote kwa mambo ya electric bikes na electric vehicles. Such that if the cost to, to Philip and his team ya kuiproduce, if the cost to Moses and the Ritu ambaye nafanya mabasi imenda chini kidogo, why shouldn't Kenya supply Uganda, Tanzania, DRC and Rwanda as instead of importing them from China. The biggest portion, component of this battery is cobalt. Cobalt in Atoka DRC, in Apita Uganda, in Apita Kenya, in Aenda Mombasa, in China, watengeneze battery have to rudishi hapa. I think in future, that company doing it there, why don't we invite them to come do it from here and serve the entire East African market? kitu itenda chini zaidi, watu fry. We thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share.
and we'll see you in the next video.